set of rules and we move ahead with the sport. These rules have been sent to the FEI and we keep updating these every two years or so in mutual consultation. Wherever we have our international temping meets, we all sit down and discuss the future and make a little action plan as to how to go ahead with this. The basic rules of the sport are, in reality, very simple. Firstly, you have a point system. If you pick the peg over clear 15 meters from the place it is, you get six points. If you just upstick the peg, you get four points. And if you strike the peg, you get two points. So there is a point system for, then in case of a tie, then we go back to the previous run and you take the speeds of the previous run, which generally are not similar. So you decide the winner on timings. Welfare is a very important part as far as tent pegging is concerned. All aspects of the welfare of the horse are looked into. The stewards are briefed to be very harsh. Well, you go on with the sport to implement rules in the spirit they should be. And I think tent pegging is as good as racing. If racing is not stressful to the horse, so isn't tent pegging. It has been recognized as a regional discipline. But I do see a future for this sport because of two reasons. One, it is not very time consuming and it's not very costly to organize. If you have to put up a tent pegging meet, the ground requirements are just 20 meters by 150 to 160 meters, which you can organize anywhere. You can do it in a stadium. And the equipment involved is nothing. It's just cardboard pegs, which are not very costly. When you're sitting on a horse, you're always looking for speed. And I think this is one discipline which gives you a lot of speed, a lot of thrill. And here you can also practice your skill with a weapon. In other equestrian sports, there's no weapon involved. It's just the horse and a rider. Here you've got a lance or you've got a sword, you've got a bennet, depending on what sort of tent pegging you're doing. So there's something a little more than this horse itself. In a modern sporting world, for tent pegging to survive, it must grow on the international stage, and it is achieving some success. No, as of today, this sport is being practiced in about 17 or 18 other countries. It has been taken from here during the British era. Like polo, tent pegging was taken to South Africa, to England. Of late, the Arabs are taking on to the sport. We've introduced the sport in Oman. The next step is Sudan is going in for this. Efforts are on to bring Morocco onto the map. On the western side, the latest is the Canadian Tent Ping Association, which was formed last year. The FEI World Cup Driving